fuck in here. Get the fuck in here. <laughs> All right. A few housekeeping notes before we get started. If you have donated or are planning on donating in the next 15 minutes to the crew of fools, if you're planning on giving five dollars, help yourself to a harmonica. If you're planning on giving more than twenty dollars, which you really should, <laughs> help yourself to one of these lovely, gorgeous crew of fools members only pins. The Herald will have both the harmonicas and the pins. <laughs> oh God! Wait, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get down to business. We've been doing this for five years. And five years ago, eight of us, exactly eight, got together and decided it would be really, really funny to dress up like King Warpo for a day. So we did, and we walked around, and we shouted silly things, and we had a great time. And we said, well, shit, let's do this again. <laughs> and so next year, we crowned King Peter, and we walked around, and King Peter performed the blessing of the Little Peters in Jackson Square, and a good time was had by all. <laughs> and the next year... We decided to crown King Louis, who was an incredible, benevolent king. And then the next year, we crowned King Emmett. Looking around here, it seems like there might perhaps be a lot more than eight of you. I am honored, and I am humbled, and I am so very, very grateful that you all took time out of your lives and out of your days not only to come here today, to stand in support with the street performance community of New Orleans. It, I'm going to start to cry. <laughs> don't cry. Don't <laughs> cry. Let me do a close-up. You guys are amazing. We can't do it without you. I really, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I'm very, very much looking forward to this, the fifth anniversary of the Crew of Fools. <laughs> Woohoo! And now, without further ado, I present to you the first fool. King Warpo! Thank you. Oh, oh, that that first step is a doozy. I'm pretty damned impressed about this, too. Uh, Ricky gave us little things about uh, what we should... I know, I said little things, and you're right. <laughs> But what she wanted the speeches to, to be about, and she said, why being the first king is amazing. And I'll tell you, for me, well, I guess it couldn't be for anybody else because I'm the only first one we had. Uh, but just watching it grow. And as the year has gone by, getting more... The folks that were here at the beginning, the folks that are here now, old bonds have been, been uh, made stronger and... New bonds have been made, and it's all beautiful. In fact, in general, that's what it is about Mardi Gras. You end up being friends with somebody that you never would have been friends with before because <laughs> they lived on the other side of the country, or they're a Democrat or a Republican, or they're a Jew, or they're a Christian, and you just wouldn't hold, hold any association with them. But it's nice that we can all come together and be fools, and it has been a real pleasure seeing it grow and I just hope it continues. Thank you all so much for coming. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Delighted to be here, more than anything else, delighted that we are here to honor our new king, King Elliot, Elliot. <laughs> because Elliot was, is the very first street performer that I came to know when I arrived here in New Orleans 20 odd years ago. Some of them very odd years. <laughs> and watching Elliot and his uh, compatriot at the time work and learn, I, I learned from watching how they enter, draw, drew in crowds of people, often tourists, and entertained them. And without the 
without the the inspiration that Elliot was for me, I would still be a poor glass harper on Jackson <laughs> Square. As it is now, I'm a former king and I bless you all. <laughs> You know what? Two years ago, I ain't had no damn speech. <laughs> still don't have one, right? And two years later, I still don't have a damn speech. <laughs> <laughs> they got me out of the, the bar room. <laughs> they to make a speech. <laughs> but I say one thing, that over the years, it's going on five years, we just started with five people. No, look. <laughs> It's amazing. Yeah. Y'all should give yourself a hand. Yeah. And I hope this thing be wilder than Peter. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> That's asking a lot. And I, love, I love that all y'all came and participating with it and more years to come. And one thing about it, Grandpa Elliot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell. Uh, King for King the street Lewis. entertainers, oh. he, <laughs> he has a, a big impact. Yes, he does. For the street entertainers. Yep. And part of my life also. But one thing I'm going to say, damn, I done gave out of words. Yeah. <laughs> you know one thing? I'm going to get another drink. Oh. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> Presenting reigning King Emmett. Woo! King Emmett. All hail King Emmett. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. I am a thoroughly modern king. <laughs> it has been a privilege to serve as your king over the past year. We've made thousands of improvements none of which are on record, fortunately. <laughs> it really has been an honor serving as the King of Fools. I was honored to be, to be appointed to this position by my peers. But today is the end of my reign. It is not about me. And when we sat and we discussed the man that should be king, I was overwhelmed. He is not new to being royalty. He was once known as the King of the Harmonica. Now, many of us as street performers we are just absolutely thrilled to have a crowd of 50, 100, 200, 300 people in the square. And occasionally we will get that. Our next king is performed for audiences of the size of over 40,000. Yeah, think about that. YouTube hits on one song, 71 million. Wow. These are not numbers that I can ever think to approach for myself. And better yet, oh my, starting early in his career, performing with Showboat. Ladies and gentlemen, this man has forgotten more about street performing than any of us will ever hope to know. It is my proud honor to present to you this year's king, King Louis. No, I'm sorry. That's that guy. The great thing, though, about having the white beard is that things up here slip away every once in a while. It would be foolish of me, of course, as the King of Fools, to say that King Louis has sunk for 40,000 people. My apologies to our next king for misquoting. But, all hail King Grandpa Elliot. Come on, baby! Woohoo! Yeah! You have 
have cleared the doorway, sir. Excellent. My last duty as king, sir, is to first present you with our new king's scepter. Woohoo! Yeah! And of course, the crown itself. That's right. Take your time. You, you can't have it no more. <laughs> oh. Ladies, lords and ladies of the court, all hail King Elliot. Never oh, had boy. so many grandchildren <laughs> <laughs> all over the world. Oh, yeah. come on. I have grandchildren. Yeah. Hello, oh, Brazil. <laughs> Hello, China. <laughs> Detroit. London. You got it. Oh, he's getting up close. Get you. you know, I'm not good at speeches. <laughs> But you know what we need? What? Do you know what we need? What? To make what? This thing better? what do we need, Grandpa? Love. <laughs> As I sit on the corner of Royal and Toulouse, I watch the world change. And it changed for the, for the best, change for the good. But you know what we need. We need. We need. Get in there. A breakthrough. <laughs> we need. We need a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. We need, oh Jesus, Allah. We need a breakthrough. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Sing it, Grandpa. Without a vow breakthrough. Won't come through yes, without you, mm -hmm. oh Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Can we have an amen? Amen. Can we have a amen? Amen. Sorry, Dad, just jump in for him. Oh, man, I'm crying. I can't see shit. Oh, man, that was emotional.